So we're going to be dealing with anchor pane. So we're going to create anchor pane to be the root and anchor pane. And as I told you that anchor pane allows you to anchor any other pane to anywhere on this page. So in our example, we will use the anchor pane to set an H box pane in the bottom right corner of our scene. So that's what basically we'll be doing. Okay, so we're going to be creating a couple of buttons. We're going to call this one, let's say, login button equals to new button login and we're going to create another button called cancel organize your imports so we have a login button and we have a cancel button we're going to create an h box to which we will going to add these buttons so you can add multiple buttons to the HBox constructor. So I can say, well, I want my spacing to be 10, and I want to add my login and cancel button. So you can add all of them in one shot as well. Now I can say that to my anchor pane, I would like to add my HBox pane. So H box pane, which has the two buttons, is being added to the anchor pane, which is added to the scene. And now we need to come up with the placements. So we'll say that anchor pane dot set right corner. So in the right corner of the anchor pane, we want H box such that we are leaving this much spacing. The second parameter gives some offsets from the edge. So now we're going to do something similar. Anchor pane dot set bottom anchor again, H box and the offset. So now when you run it, notice that your login and cancel buttons are located in the bottom right corner. Okay. Now if I change the sequence of login and cancel, if I use cancel first and login next, and I rerun it, you will notice that their sequence changes on the screen. So the sequence in which you add is the sequence in which they get to display.